Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this is a card show day. That's right, we're going to go see some cards, buy some good stuff, all that fun jazz. So you can see right there the Salvation Army van, that's where we're headed. So we're going to go inside, take a look around and see what we can add to our collection. Now we're inside and this is what we call the establishing shot. And this is one of four rooms full of cards. You can see the action is just starting to heat up a little bit here as it's about 9.15 in the morning. The show runs from 9 until 3. I'll probably be here until about noon, maybe 1 o'clock, taking a look at roughly 75 dealers and more than 100 tables of all kinds of sports card and memorabilia goodness. Purchase number one is in the books. This deal went for 30 bucks. We got an Aaron Judge Chrome debut rookie card. I don't have much of him in my collection, so I wanted to add something. Got a Derek Jeter draft pick card. And of course, everybody knows this one, the 1989 Fleer rookie card of Ken Griffey Jr. Here's another round of pickups, starting with this Dave Winfield card, which is in really nice condition here. Take a look at that, just five bucks. We'll move on to Brooks Robinson, and you'll be able to add this card. Again, in pretty good shape. If you watch Win Broncos cards coming up Monday here on the channel, and you'll also have an opportunity to win this, one of the home run king, Hank Aaron. I also did some prospecting here with Bobby Wood Jr. picking up a couple first Bowman first edition cards of the Royals shortstop. I saw him play last week in Minnesota against the Twins, and I think he's got a really bright future, so I figured I'd roll the dice and see what happens with these. Picked up a whole bunch of Giannis cards to add to my collection, kind of playing some catch up on that collection. So I'll just kind of cycle through those and show you what I got to add to that. That's the Mecca 4 version of the jersey that they wore a couple of years ago. Bought two of these. I'm going to get one to my buddy Tyler, who's a huge Bucks fan. Saw him on a baseball card of the day calendar video back in March and early April. Anyway, there's a little bit of catching up with the MVP. Also picked up an envelope full of 1985 Topps cards. We're actually putting together a set of that year with help from those of you in the card community. We're a little bit late with the video from May, but that's going to be coming one week from today, next Saturday, as we update some cards we purchased at a previous show here, these, and a nice gift package from our friend over at Clumps Cards. So check that out next week here on the channel. We've hit the seventh inning stretch. I got some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. This is another of the four rooms here at the card show. As you can see, attendance is pretty solid and there's a lot of good deals and obviously some trades and good purchases happening so let's continue back to the show floor and see what else we can find i just did some dollar box diving and you see an assortment here i got a total of 21 cards for 15 bucks i'm going to show you what i think were the best i'll say the best through the last two i got a pretty cool gypsy queen chrome mini of bo jackson we got a lou bob luis robert that's from certified 2020 also pick up a Ryan Mountcastle for a buck. Try to block the glare for you there. It's a chrome. We got a Bobby Wood Jr. card. Not doing too well blocking the glare, but that's okay. We got Tom Glavin here, a rookie card. Now here's the two best, I think. We got a Fleer high number, Barry Bonds, number 604. And his Donruss rookie. All that right here that you see, 15 bucks, there's 21 cards. Really pleased with this set of purchases. Brett Phillips is right. Baseball is fun. And it's even more fun when I can find his autographed rookie card for just four bucks. So I got these three for a total of $12. Wrapping up things here from the card show in Oak Creek, my final purchase was a first Bowman paper of Nolan Arenado. I think he's gonna be a future Hall of Famer. So for five bucks, I had to pick that up and add it to my PC. And on the way out, I had a chance to stop and talk to the promoter of the show, Tony, great guy. And he actually gives everyone that comes to the show a free pack. So let's open this up and see what we've got here. We got 1987 Donruss. And I'm opening this like I haven't opened one of these packs since 1987. We'll get there, I promise. If you haven't already, go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Let me know your favorite card that we picked up today. Hit the like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Baseball Card Illustrated team. Okay, so we've got... I'm going to come across the sign here. I'll show you. we got Ted Simmons, Donnie Hill, Keith Atherton, Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt, that's a good one. 
Dave Henderson. He had a big home run in the playoffs for the Red Sox in 1986. And this guy's team here, Doug DeCense, so the Angels. Pete Incavilia, good slugger back in the day. Got a Lance Parrish, great catcher for the Tigers. Here's a guy that never heard of, Randy Asador. John Cerruti. Stoney, but it's Jeff Stone, not the guy that used to sit next to Harry Carey. Mike Marshall, Raphael Belliard, Wayne somebody or other, and the great Kirby Puckett. Thanks for joining us here on this video. We're at Bed Daddy's at the Salvation Army here in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. They'll have another show coming up on January 2nd. So if you're in the area on the 4th of July weekend, definitely stop by. Say hi to Tony, get a free pack of cards. On behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, our great photographer to the stars Showtime, I'm Bronco with the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel on location at a card show in Oak Creek.